the X Keys T Bar is an awesome tool to use within vMix. Um, this is the X Keys controller with their keycap template for, I guess, for vMix or video switchers in general, their video switcher template. Um, they're pretty nice keys there. They have all these printed uh, numbers and they come in packs. So I actually, I'm not even using all the keys they give you, but this is just the layout that, that I preferred. So let's walk through exactly what uh, these keys correspond to with the T-Bar and Jog and Shuttle Controller template that I've built. The green keys correspond to the preview bus of vMix. So these are all of your preview buses. The red keys correspond to the program bus. So this is what's going out over the air, and this is what's in your preview window. These sync, or these correspond to the inputs numbered 1 through 12 in vMix. So as you're adding things into vMix, uh, you'll see here I have input 1, which is a deck link card, input 2, deck link card 3. Those are my camera sources, 4 is my replay. So if I was to select button one, that's gonna put camera one in preview, two, camera two in preview, three, camera three in preview. If I was to hit the red button one, that's gonna put camera one in program, camera two in program, camera three in program. Uh, let's actually put camera there 10 in there, which is our kind of loop here, a Dactronics built loop. Um, and then we'll put our sponsors back in 11 there. So, so if you'll see here, there's actually an activator that follows each button as you select it, so it turns red. And the same thing happens down here. There's actually a blue activator under there. It's really hard to see in the sunlight. The blue is kind of, in the truck it looks really cool, but here it's a little faint. So these blue keys here, they correspond to vMix inputs uh, 13 through 24. So if you're following our logic here, these are inputs one through 12, and then we loop back around 13 through 24. I have these set up as overlays. Uh, one through four are overlays one, two, three, and four, and then five through 12 are just a duplicate. They turn on overlay one. So let's just, for instance here, turn on overlay one. We get an activator that lights up red, and we look over in vMix. We now have our fan of the game, sponsored by The Gathering Place. Shout out to The Gathering Place. Let's hit our button again. It turns our overlay off. So here, basically, we have 12 keyable inputs that we can use right at our disposal via overlays one through four, and then again a duplicate of one. So these white keys up here are macro buttons, uh, these M1 through eight. Now M2 through eight are actually blank. If we hit those, they don't do nothing. There's no activator, there's no nothing to them. I actually keep these blank and program a shortcut or an activator to them per show, depending on what I'm TDing. This M1 button here, it actually fires a replay event, and that's in this template. So what it does is if you press M1, it fires off the Stinger 1 transition. It plays the last replay event we have uh, in replay A. And once the replay event ends, it will Stinger transition back to whatever's in preview. So let's give it a go. We hit M1 and our Stinger transition comes up. It's rolling our replay here, which is a, looks like a bomb to the end zone. And then it should fire back out to our logo here using Stinger transition 1. Now I touched one button. Let's do it one more time. I'm gonna press one button, it fires the stinger transition, it does the replay, fires the replay, guy catches it, and we're almost to our out point, and it fires back. All right, so we have an awesome macro transition built in right there, corresponding to a replay, which brings us to our next section. This black section up here is actually my replay uh, controls. This 1 through 12 controls the camera that's being sent out of replay channel A. The in button marks an endpoint. The out button marks an out point. These arrows here go forward and back, so you can change the direction of the replay. And up and down control the speed. So just for giggles, let's fire our M1 button, and we'll switch a couple cameras. We'll make it go forward and back, and we'll make it go up and down. Uh, Sorry if I blocked the camera, but this is the hand I have to do this with because it's like playing an instrument. So M1 is firing out. We're going to slow it down here, and let's go to our game look, which is two. Let's speed him up. Yep, he got it. Oh, let's go. Let's watch him go back. Did he, did he get a, a clean grab there? Let's go forward. Slow it down. Yeah, no pass interference. We're good to go. And let's go back to our handheld camera, which had the celebration. 
and then I haven't done anything now except for control the replay controls and it automatically went back to what was in preview. So I did all that right in this little section. So I can use this one controller to do all that by myself. That's why I kind of built this section for the template. These orange keys over here, they're lit up red because that looks super cool and people think that looks fancy, but they do absolutely nothing. And I program those as well per show. T-Bar does a dissolve, uh, you know, if you want to control the Death Star, that's what you use this for. All right, and then this is our stream and record buttons. Uh, if you hit record, it'll start flashing red here. Uh, boop, there it goes, and our record fires on vMix. And hit it again, it turns off. We'll move this up so you can see these transition buttons here. So take is a cut, it cuts between your sources. Auto one is set to fade. You can see right here in vMix, we're just working down here. So this is our fade transition, fade there. Uh, Stinger one, which is our little football riches graphic there. And then auto three, I have a Stinger two, but I don't have a Stinger two in there, so it's not gonna fire anything. So that is all of the shortcuts and activators for the X keys T bar within this template.